Hi, I'm at the Hard Rock Hotel in Pattaya Beach, and I'm here to tell a story, a sad story in the beginning, but from this story, I learned about one of the most valuable assets a foreigner can have here living in Thailand. Let's start this video story where it started yesterday morning back at my home in Bangkok. So I'm off to Pattaya Beach, which is 86 miles south of where I live here in Bangkok, where that would be about 138 kilometers. And today I'm going by bus. It's 7 a.m. I got up early this morning so I could come to the beach and find a nice quiet spot to shoot videos. Yeah, quiet doesn't happen in Asia, ever. In 2017, I was fairly new to Thailand and I was still trying to determine whether or not I wanted to live here. And the story that I'm about to tell you it was very influential in my decision to actually stay. John was 82 years old, a retired Australian businessman. He had done well. John was pretty wealthy. And he had come to Pattaya, he's still fit and spry and, you know, enjoying his retirement. And he came to Pattaya Beach to, uh, to attend a conference. But he made a week-long vacation out of it as well. Uh, he was with a young woman, a 35-year-old woman, and who was his companion, and she was staying with him. And we're going to call her Susie. I don't really know her name. Um, the way I came to know who John was is kind of interesting as well. He wasn't known to me personally. John was staying here at the Hard Rock Hotel. And on the second day of the conference and his vacation, he came down to the pool here to take a swim. And he went for a swim in the pool, had a heart attack and died. Pattaya or Pattaya Beach is a resort town, a little over 80 miles away from Bangkok where I was living at the time. And Pattaya Beach is well known for its body red light district, but there's a lot of other attractions here too, a beach, nice hotels, uh, conferences that John was attending. I didn't have any part of any of that. I was back at my place in Bangkok at the time, and I heard from a friend of mine, Bruce. Bruce is an American expat living here in Thailand. He's been here for about 25 years, and he has a logistics company that he started up. Bruce is doing pretty well. He's a, he's a very uh, uh, capable and smart and ambitious businessman himself. Uh, he employs like 30 Thai people. He's, he's, he's done well here in Thailand. And uh, uh, Bruce was connected to the conference that John had been at. Now, what happened when John had the heart attack and passed away, Susie, it turns out, was distraught. She was totally distraught and became unhinged. She was psychologically unfit to get anything done. And she didn't have any money. She was totally reliant on John. And John didn't have much cash either. He was, he was using credit cards to do all that they needed to do. So, you know, after he kicked off. Susie had lost all her resources. Uh, she, she was beside herself. She really needed some help. That's where Bruce stepped in. Bruce stepped in. He learned about all of this. He assigned one of his employees to take care of Susie to kind of babysit her and help her make arrangements to get her flight back to Australia. Bruce also stepped in and became uh, like a, an administrative go-between between between the Hard Rock Hotel and the Australian Embassy and John's family back in Australia. 
According to Bruce, John's family wasn't that helpful. They seemed to be more concerned with, uh, with, with securing John's resources and, you know, divvying them up amongst themselves. You know, why they would even have that conversation with Bruce is a little bit weird. But Bruce took charge. Bruce, it turns out, is a pretty good guy, and he was also a friend of mine. And that's when I heard about all of this. Uh, like I said, John coordinated the efforts uh, needed to uh, uh, to take care of this problem with, uh, with the Australian Embassy, John's family, and the Hard Rock Hotel. Um, it turns out Bruce uh, reported that the Hard Rock was very helpful, and they did the right thing, and they, they, they had procedures in place. I have a suspicion John was not the first patron of the Hard Rock to have ever died while be you know while, while at their hotel they, i'm sure they have corporate procedures for emergencies like this and bruce said they did a good job but what i find interesting is here in thailand here in Pattaya beach one of their major priorities was to get a monk to come and bless the pool kind of take care of john's spirit uh yeah they had to take care of what was left of john but to the thais that included his spirit they didn't want that spirit hanging around the pool how to get the monks involved. Here in the fourth floor elevator lobby uh, near the room I'm staying in is this interpretation of the cover of Abbey Road, an old Beatles album, which I find kind of interesting. I just don't remember aliens uh, being with the Beatles. As it gets later in the morning, the pool area was starting to become a little bit noisy as well. So I thought, I'll come up here and finish the video, or at least this segment of the video, on this really lovely balcony here in my room. You hear that? Industrial air conditioners. Asia just doesn't do quiet. <laughs> I traveled here to the Hard Rock Hotel in Pattaya Beach to tell the story, to make this video. And my plan was to just come down here for a night. But while I was here, I hooked up with two of my friends, two of my expat friends that I have made over the years that live in the area down here. And uh, one of them was uh, Greeny of Greeny Travels. He's a YouTuber like me and a retired guy. He's a retired policeman from, I think, Michigan. And I met Greeny through YouTube, and he's become a friend now. Yeah, and the lunch looks good. Look at that, that's a hell of a lunch. Nice pork chops, some vegetables, sweet potato fries. And Greeny got lasagna with french fries. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't order it. I would have rather an extra pasta. Yeah, only in Thailand, right? And then my friend Pat, who uh, I've known since I've been here, for the most part, I've known Pat for over five years. A really workable joke about Pat. I'm the real Pat, not the ex-Pat. I'm a Pat right now, so I'm working on it. I'll get back to it. And Greeny and Pat are examples of that valuable resource that I was talking about in the beginning of this video, and that's the expat community. There's a really strong and supportive community of men in this region of the world that have come here to retire because it's a good place to retire. And, um, you know, I've had such a good time here in my one day in, in Pattaya, I've decided I think I'm gonna stay another day. I'm really enjoying myself. But the remainder of this story takes place back in Bangkok. I'm in the neighborhood, the Bangkok neighborhood of Klong Toi. Wang Toi is a poorer neighborhood of Bangkok, thought by some to be a dangerous neighborhood, although I don't see it that way. Um, and it's right on the riverfront. As you can see, this is not a place that tourists come to. This is a working part of Bangkok, about shipping right on the riverfront. Look at that long tail boat there. Now that's, again, not a tourist boat. This guy's using that to make a living with. I don't know, I just find that kind of interesting. So. Bruce arranged to ship John's remains to this Wat, the neighborhood Wat for Klong Toi. It's called Wat Klong Toi Nok. And within Wat Klong Toi Nok, there is a crematorium. And it's kind of a discount place. I don't know if it's fair to call it that, but it's inexpensive. Bruce made sure Susie was safely on an airplane on her way back to Australia. And he, at that point, arranged to have 
John's body shipped here to Klong Toi Nak. Here to the crematorium. And that's when the word went out. You know, we need to have a gathering of men to pay respects to John as he left this mortal realm. And we did, six of us showed up here. And myself on the left, Bruce is right next to me in the sunglasses, followed by other friends. Uh, the skinny guy in the long sleeve white shirt is Bruce's employee who had taken care of Susie. The other guy in the short sleeve white shirt is Rusty, one of my, uh, one of my yoga students. Then there's Marcus and the guy in the gray shirt on the end is Guido. These are all guys I've talked to or talked about in my videos in the past. And we showed up. We, we showed up and, and uh, made sure John had a proper send off. Now the only one who had ever met John, and I'm not even sure if he met him, was Bruce. We, we didn't know this man. We just knew that there was a situation that needed some attention. And because of that, I learned that there's this loose affiliation of expats that are present here that will show up when needed. And it was, it was a comforting feeling to be part of that, knowing that a community like that existed here in Thailand made it easier for me to make the decision to stay here. And here I am five years later still living here. And uh, some of those guys in the pictures, most of them are still here as well. The only one, let's see, Guido is not, he's back in New York, but I was just chatting with him last week. He says he's coming back soon. It's a nice place to live. We all, what we all have in common is, uh, you know, we're you know, kind of older guys. Some of us are still working, but some of us are retired. And, uh, you know, we have this community where we're from, you know, America and Marcus is Irish and uh, John was Australian. You know, it's like we're the expat community. And uh, so if you're thinking of retiring and living in Bangkok or anywhere in Thailand or other places in Southeast Asia as well, you'll find a lot of guys like us. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you the next time. I'll see you in the next video.